What are your thoughts after that one? Obviously, you get the win, <laughs> but uh, miss out on the series. Um, I think we're <clears throat> sorry, losing my voice. I think we're both um, really confused on how to feel at the moment, to be honest. Um, yep, we've just won a game of Origin in Queensland, which is a massive feat, and it was such a battle and such a great game. But you feel still so defeated because we've lost, you know, a two-game series by four points. So. That's how I feel, yeah, and, and I've spoken to Amanda to a lot of the girls that they're feeling the same. So, can I get both of your thoughts on the aggregate series? Do you think the men should implement it to eradicate the dead rubber? No. No? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I care about is our game, to be honest, and I feel like, um, yeah, obviously winning today was massive for us. and. Uh, a massive achievement and I'm so proud of, of all the girls and how they, you know, overcome that last five minutes. But, but yeah, one all and, it's, yeah, it's really hard to, to feel, um, yeah, don't know how to feel basically because of one, two games. So let's make it a third game in a couple of weeks' time and we can have that decider and, um, yeah, really see who can take home the trophy. But that's not how it is this year and just got to move on. It feels like a simple question, but three game series, is that what you want? Oh, absolutely. We fought really hard to win um, this game to, to make it one all. Um, and obviously we knew that it was going to be on points, but it's really disappointing that you lose uh, an origin shield because of four points. Um, as I said, it's been, t it was a tough for our girls to be out there. The crowd was against us. It was a massive crowd. It was awesome. Um, and they, we were behind, and they fought really hard to get back, and then, and then win the game. But then we walk away, and still, that's it. It's all over for 2023. You touched on it there. <coughs> it obviously, was a big crowd, and is there a, point, a part of you that is still proud to see such a big crowd come and support a women's origin game in regional Queensland? Yeah, it was massive. We had like 18,000 people here. Um, you could definitely hear that when we were out there. Um, yeah, it's such a massive win for Women's Rugby League and obviously the game of footy tonight was unreal and um, obviously credit to Queensland, they um, had they played great obviously game one and, and they obviously played great tonight as well but yeah, it, it's massive for um, the women's game to have that many people come and watch us and yeah, it's a huge win. A few big inclusions for you guys tonight compared to that game one, how did you feel they made a big impact to the side? Um, look, I, it was really good as a coach to be able to go in with the 17 girls that you pick and everyone's fit and healthy and um, I think you see in our first 20 minutes was unbelievable. I was really, really happy with that and then we had a few lapses um, in that last 10 minutes going into half time but came out and got ourselves back in. But having Samima in, in the middle there um, really added some punch there which then gave me the ability to be able to start Millie and Kezi. Um, which is what I wanted to do in game one, but couldn't because of, of injuries. And then Tiana, she was outstanding um, on her wing. So, um, no, it was good. And obviously, you know, Izzy coming back from that horrific injury in game one, um, you know, she's out there doing the best she could as well. She's great. She made a big difference to have her for the full game. Oh, absolutely. The metres that she do, um, gets us forward with, with her out, uh, back carries um, were massive and she was exactly the same tonight, so. In hindsight, do you think you showed enough attacking intent throughout the game? Uh, absolutely. I thought our attack, there was probably a couple of occasions we probably made the wrong decisions. Um, but, you know, that's footy and you can't predict that. But I was really impressed with the way we play. We, we stuck to our game plan and our structures. A um, couple of lapses, but really proud of the girls, the way that they fought back um, to get that win. And do you back the decision to go for two points on two occasions? Absolutely. It's origin, you've got to take the points when you can. If we didn't take those points, then um, we mightn't have won that game. So, And it was probably something we reflected on from game one where we probably should have taken points when we had them on offer early in game one. I think it would have maybe changed the way that game panned down as well. So, Kezi officially the most uh, capped sky blue. Uh, what does that mean to you and what does the jersey mean to you? Oh yeah, obviously it means everything to me, um, this jersey and as I said it was really hard to, to know how to feel because obviously we won that game but um, lost the whole series so obviously, yeah, disappointing, um, obviously that's not how I envisioned um, you know, this series ongoing but obviously that's just footy and, but no, extremely proud that, um, yeah, that I 
that I made it here um, and that I've played my 11th game um, for New South Wales and yeah, I'm very proud of that. A few more to, to come, do you hope? Oh, of course. <laughs> if I'm, um, yeah, if I'm still playing good footy, um, obviously that's my ultimate goal each year is to wear this jersey and it's, um, yeah, it's a bit massive driver for me um, each season is is being able to come into camp and to be able to um, represent your state is definitely something that drives me each and every year. So um, I think that's why I keep, um, I don't know, training really hard and <laughs> trying to be in the best position each year just so I can come back and be in this, in this colour. Kylie time was the enemy in the end tonight. Um, <coughs> would you like to see this game go to an 80 minute game? Oh, yeah extra minutes would, would be great as well but um, you know we fought hard to get back and, and get in that game there was I think we lost it in a couple of areas especially the last 10 minutes of the first half if we had have been better then I think the win would have been a lot easier for us but obviously I think the girls deserve to have a full 80 minutes now too they're at that stage their their fitness and their game management and uh, everything like that is um, you know they deserve to have the full 80s as well. Um, no, she's fine. She walked off. Um, she may have a little bit of an MCL strain, but um, yeah, that wasn't wasn't great at the end. But.